Dusty. No, ma'am. You need to stay on the bed. Mommy's filming a video. You're being rude. Stay. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about my all-time favorite liquid lipstick formulas. You can see, you can see my dogs are running in and out. If they bother you, I'm sorry. I'm in a different setup today. So, I'm sitting actually in front of the fireplace in my bedroom. But we're going to talk about these formulas. Now, I'm a huge fan of lipsticks. I probably have over, I'd hate to admit, maybe 300 in my collection. I feel like lipstick is something that can pull a whole outfit together. As you can see, my makeup's pretty basic today. But a bold lip completely changes your look. So I'm going to go over the formulas and the brands that I enjoy. I've got my lipstick sweater ready. I'm wearing my lipstick leggings from LuLaRoe. So I'm ready to dig in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell and it'll actually send you a <laughs> Hey babe. It'll actually send you a notification every time I make a new video. I'm going to need you to stop squeaking that. You want to tell the people's hi? Come here. Car car. Car car. Car car, send me yours. Hi, Shozo. Hi. Hey, come here. Hi. All right. So I have taken the dog toy away, and now I'm ready to dig in. Now, I am not a fan of anything that's going to be uncomfortable. I don't want anything that makes my lips feel very dry, where they feel... I mean, you know what I'm talking about, where it feels crusty, they're dry, it's uncomfortable, and it doesn't look good. So, all of these formulas are great as far as comfort is concerned. Now... Not all of these are matte, but most of them are. I will try to touch about what the finish is as I go over these. I'm going to insert lip swatches of each shade, which please love and appreciate the amount of work that went into doing lip swatches. I filmed those yesterday, and I would put on a shade, take a picture, wipe it off, and I went through this whole bucket and by the end of it my lips were on fire but all for the love of beauty all right enough talking i'm gonna dive in i'm gonna go over my all-time favorite brand and formula for liquid lips it is the bare minerals let's see bare minerals gin nude matte liquid lips now i have let's see one two to count all them some of them i have in minis they are really good about during the holidays coming out with different gift sets and i am wearing the shade swank today on my lips it's more of a darker berry tone oh, oh i have one more i thought that was all all right these are all of the ones that i have the one i'm wearing today is Right here swank now like i said i do have some mini formulas um they're great they're very soft they feel very velvety they do dry down matte but it's not i mean it's not completely transfer proof they're pretty long wearing i can wear these on a typical eight hour day and not really have to reapply now if you do eat oily foods like salads or anything like that that would have a lot of oil or something in it it will break down any lipstick formula it's not just these but i don't have an issue with um staying power with these they smell absolutely delicious. It smells like brownie batter, but in a good way. Not where it's like, oh, this kind of is a little too sweet. But love these. Super comfortable. Matte formula and great scent. So absolutely love these. The applicator is more of a flat spatula. It's not a doe foot applicator. It's very flat, but it makes it really easy to apply and get a straight line. I don't feel like I need a lip liner with any of these. All right, we have the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Naughty, Boss, 
swank, friendship, weekend, icon, juju, scandal, and slay. Another brand that I enjoy is a drugstore brand. Let's see. I'm trying to get all of them out so I can show you guys. These are the Physician's Formula. I love these. The Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Lipstick. I have four of their shades. These are wonderful and very affordable. Pretty sure they're around $9 to $11 a piece absolutely love the applicator on these as you can see i don't know if it's trying to focus uh there we go it's a little pointed tip and it has like a little slit has a little slit in the middle that holds the product you can get a perfect line with these these dry down matte they're very comfortable not transfer proof but then again most of the Lipsticks that you find that are transfer proof. Oh, it has been a very long day. Um, the lipsticks that you find that are not transfer proof are going to be more drying on your lips. So you kind of sacrifice one for the other. Is it completely transfer proof and my lips are super dehydrated after? Or do I have a little transfer and they're more comfortable and moisturized. So absolutely love these. You can use coupons a lot, CVS, Ulta, things like that. Grab some of these. They're great. The Physician's Formula Liquid Lip and Nourishing Plum, Dose of Rose, and Vitamin B. Great. Let's see. I also have um, another drugstore brand here. These are by Flower Beauty. They are the Miracle Matte Lips. I have um, two nude shades, kind of a berry tone and then a red. These dry down matte and very, just, just like the Bare Minerals one, a little flat spatula top applicator. Really easy to get a clean line. These are very comfortable. I get very good staying power out of these. So that is definitely a must. The Flower Beauty Liquid Lip in Scarlet Letter, Soft Berry, Merlot Kiss, and Blush. Um, another drugstore brand. I have lots of drugstore lips, which is great because, you know, not everybody can just sit there and drop $25 on a lipstick. Now, if you're someone that doesn't wear a lot of different shades, you want something that's in there for the long haul and you want to kind of splurge on one good staple product, one of the higher end brands that I mentioned would be great. But if you're wanting just something different, maybe something to try, drugstore brands are amazing. And just because it's more expensive doesn't mean it's better quality. Just saying. These are the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colors. And I have five of their shades. And <laughs> you'll look at them. And even in the swatches, the, a lot of these are very similar. You can see a little bit better on camera than you can in person. But there's more of a gradient type. And then I have a deep berry shade. These dry down... They're matte, but you still feel a little puffier of a texture. Um, very comfortable. This one has a different top applicator. It's a spatula, but as you can see right here, it's more of a slant, so it really kind of curves with your lip. Now, for the darker shades, they do have a vanilla scent to it. It's not super wonderful, but I don't hate it either. Now, with the darker shades, I do kind of have to dip in for a second application. Any of the lip swatches you are seeing, minus the deep, deep shades, are one swipe application. Like, I'm not going in for a second coat, is what I'm trying to say. Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Lip in Plum This Show Soft Bliss Blush 
Rose and Shine, and Pink Blink. All right, just a few more brands left. This, these three right here are, t I absolutely love these. First of all, they're super cute. These are the Matte Shakers by Lancome. I have the shades, Beige Vintage, Energy Peach, and Sa Sea Sand and Sun. The first one I bought, Energy Peach. Now, it looks pretty nude in the tube, but as you can see on, hopefully, my hand, um, it is very neon and peachy, just like the name, so take it for what it says. But these are very comfortable. These come in a little applicator. You shake it. It's kind of like a little martini shaker. And then when you open them, it is a sponge. I don't know if you can see very well on camera, but there is a little mesh type. And when you shake it, it dispenses the product onto this sponge. So you use the sponge and you're like... To put on the product. These stay more of a. It says matte shakers. I find that I don't get a matte look out of these. Until a couple of hours after I apply. They give a very glossy type dewy finish. <laughs> I'm pushing up my glasses like I'm still wearing them. But um, you get more of a dewy finish until a few hours after. But these are very comfortable. They have a fruity, fruity type scent. It's nothing annoying like I, it doesn't bother me with these these are great they also have a juicy shaker formula but it's more of a lip gloss but this gives more of an opaque coverage as far as color is concerned we have the Lancome matte shakers in energy peach beige vintage and sea sand and sun um two more Actually, three more. I lied. Another one is the Collab Beauty. I have done three videos mentioning Collab. Two, um, I did a full brand review. You can check those out if you're curious about any of the other products. I won't go into super detail because I do have a video on these. But these are the Collab Beauty Matte Addiction Liquid Lip Colors. And I have three. I have two reds. This one online looked like a mauve nude. But when I put it on, it is straight up brown and not super attractive for my skin tone, but it is very opaque if that's something you're interested in. And this may look, it's translating very well on camera. In person, it looks kind of berry, but when I put it on, it's pretty much like a highlighter purple. So if you need a really good bold color, these are great. They dry down completely matte. They're not transfer proof, but... Staying power is very, very good with these. And the only thing I would have to say with these is if you wear them every day, you might get a little bit of dryness right here. If you just put a lip balm on before you apply, that completely takes care of that. So it's not, not an issue. These are great from Sally's Beauty. The Collab Beauty Liquid Lips in Lush Lover. What's up? Blindfold and match. Two more. This one is by Huda Beauty. It's the Demi Matte. Now, a little disclaimer with this product the liquid lip, the matte liquid lip, I absolutely. The matte liquid lip formula, I hate. It's super drying on the lips. It's not comfortable. It just like makes my lips feel crusty. I get a lot of texture. Not a fan. But the Demi Matte, which I don't even feel like they can say matte with this formula. This is very shiny, very glossy. I only have one shade, but it is super comfortable. I, I don't have any un um, dryness afterwards. It's almost moisturizing. I have the shade Feminist. It is a peachy nude. Now this one has a pretty standard doe foot applicator. I don't know if you can see, but right here there's a, a little bit of a slant. Um, works really great. This one is more of a glossy type finish. So staying power, you might need to reapply once. But I still get very good color payoff from this. And the last one I'm going to talk about, I have two minis of these absolutely love this formula this is by nars 
and it is their Power Matte Lip Pigment. And it has the strangest applicator. It's very much like a little bullet tip marker is what it reminds me of. But these are very, it's going to feel very watery when you apply it. But it dries down completely matte and then it just feels like your lips. Like you almost forget that you're wearing lipstick. When I took my trip to Italy, I really, <laughs> when I was packing, I really tried to limit myself to only packing like a nude, a red, and, you know, so I'm not overloaded because, you know, if your bag, your baggage is heavy, you've got to pay overages and all that. And these are the two that I took. I have the shades Le Freak and American Woman. This actually comes in a gift set. You can buy the mini nudes um, at Sephora. You can get American Woman in a full size at Ulta. But if you want Le Freak, you've got to get the gift set from Ulta. Or Sephora. This one is very much a basic nude. And then American Woman is more of a rosy nude. Which is my personal favorite. I do not like it where the nude is. Where it just kind of looks like you've put concealer on your lips. I don't find that attractive for my skin tone. Some people can pull it off. I'm just not one of those people. The NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in Le Freak. And American Woman. But these are all the formulas I absolutely love. I would buy, as you can see, especially with the Bare Minerals, buy multiple shades from these. I recommend them for anyone. I'm kind of, I love putting on makeup and I love to spend time with that. But I'm not a maintenance type. Like, I don't want to have to go back and constantly reapply throughout the day. I want to be able to live my life, do my thing, and not have to worry about my lipstick not being there or things like that. The only thing with some of these, because they're not 100% transfer proof, if you're a big mouth like me, when you eat, you might get some on your chin, but you can dab that way with a napkin. Uh, if you have questions about any of these products, please check the description box below. I have listed every single lipstick that I've talked about, every single shade, and links to where you can buy them. So if you're interested in any of these and you think, hey, I want to add that to my collection, you can find out where to buy them below. Please subscribe. I enjoy spending time with you guys. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.